Why? Is rust orange? The chemistry of decay. Have you ever wondered why rust always turns that deep orange-brown color? Why not green like copper or black like soot? The answer lies in a tiny chemical dance between iron, oxygen, and water. When iron meets moisture and oxygen, it begins to corrode. This reaction forms a compound called iron oxide, the scientific name for rust. But not all iron oxides look the same. The orange color we see is actually the result of hydrated iron-3 oxide, a form that scatters light in warm, reddish tones. On a molecular level, iron atoms lose electrons to oxygen, a process called oxidation. That's the decay part. The oxygen atoms combine with the freed iron to create a new structure that reflects light differently. Instead of shining metallic gray, it absorbs blue light and reflects orange. The color isn't random, it's chemistry's fingerprint. Different oxidation states of iron produce different hues. Fey, all the orange-brown rust we all recognize, forms slowly and loosely allowing air and moisture to keep attacking. Bad Fey, or a darker black oxide, can sometimes protect the metal beneath forming a tight layer that stops further corrosion. That is why you might see dark patches on old iron gates and bright orange streaks on newer ones. They're both rust, just different stages of the same chemical story. Humans have known about rust for thousands of years. In fact, early artists ground up iron oxide to make ochre pigment, one of the oldest colors ever used in cave paintings. So that orange tone you see on corroded steel today, it's the same color ancient humans used to paint their world. Rust is decayed, but it's also transformation. It's nature's way of returning metal to earth. A slow, beautiful reminder that even the strongest materials can change with time. So next time you see a rusty bridge or an old nail, remember that orange glow isn't just damage. It's chemistry, art, and history all at once.